Hey everyone, it's Squiggly McPickens with Ants on a Melon. In this video, I'm going to go over both how to transport and store your Bitwhip. When I talk about transporting your whip, I mean on a day-to-day -day basis where you put your whip in your bag or backpack to carry around on your travels outside of the house. As compared to when I use the term storing, which is the state you keep your bit whip in between sessions. There are two main considerations when transporting your bit whip. Coiling your bit whip to limit breakage and choosing a bag. If you're not just light whipping in your house, you'll want to consider how you're going to transport it to the place you'll want to whip. Example, gigs, parks, etc. Essentially, trying to protect your whip from just dumping it in a bag and overbending and potentially breaking fibers. Even if storing in a backpack, I typically put it inside its own bag. Here you can see mine. Once you've selected a bag for transporting, you'll want to coil your bit whip. Coiling your whip keeps all the fibers together and minimizes the possibility of damage. Slide it into the bag, turning it in the direction the fibers naturally go to keep them from getting tangled or bending. When your bit whip is at home, you'll still want to ensure that you're storing it in a place where you don't have to worry about fiber breakage from compression or overbending, excessive heat or cooling, and keeping it away from pets or other sources of potential mishaps. For more detailed information specifically on fiber care, check out our video on that topic. I'll post a link in the description below. There are two other considerations just on the topic of storing that you might want to take into account. That is whether you'll keep it regularly coiled or hang it straight or lay it flat when you're at home. Bitwhip fibers actually have some memory to them and you'll notice that storing in one manner or the other will contribute to the characteristics of its flow and look. If you're keeping it flat, you'll notice that the whip itself will maintain a more straightened look even when light whipping. As a result, you can manipulate the aesthetic based on the way that you store. If you're keeping your bit whip curved when storing, then even when you let it loose like this, it retains more of a curve and has a coil-like bounce to those fibers. This is the method I routinely use to store my bit whip. I like to aid my whip into becoming a circle easily when I dance, and it already having a curve assists with this action. Do whatever you feel at home with. It's just another item that you'll want to keep in mind. If you've been storing your bit whip in a coil and want to straighten it back out again, simply leave it hanging or lay them down flat for a few days and they will start to straighten. To speed up this process, place a book or relatively soft but weighty item at one end and the other to straighten your bit whip further. I hope you learned something from this tutorial and if you have any questions, just leave us a comment. If you enjoyed it, hit like and subscribe for more. Thanks so much for watching.